Depending on the party that will uh, get elected, it's either we lose everything, there's nothing that's going to be done about gun control, or we can continue fighting. At polling stations like this one in downtown Montreal, people are casting their votes. Gun violence continues to be an important ballot box issue for the federal election. Young voters like Asmi Danuj, president of the Student Association of Polytechnique, where over 30 years ago, 14 women were killed at the school, says gun violence needs to be a priority for whichever party forms the next government. Anybody can pretty much go get a gun that can allow them to kill many people very fast without needing to recharge. And just that the fact that I would not be here answering these questions today if that was not a worry, if that was not uh, something that we're trying to prevent. So we see around us, we see our neighbors in the United States. It's a weekly uh, thing that they're worried about, that they're living. We would not want to, that to be our reality. And we can see things working, progressing to go there. So not only in our schools, just in, our, in other sites, in, you know, in mosques or in other, uh, in other places where people's safety should be important. With rising gun violence in major cities, mayors of Montreal, Laval and others have been vocal in demanding a Canada-wide handgun ban, as does Police Souvient, a group of current students and graduates of Polytechnique for gun control. They're hoping federal leaders step up. I think it's really important for them to put people's safety first, uh, public safety first, and then you can look at the rest. I wish people would stop also disappointing. So if you make a promise, keep the promise that would be appreciated so yeah i think if the, the the most important thing is think about people your citizens safety voting is open until 9 30 p.m tonight stay tuned to our social channels and website for more throughout the night in montreal some sour rainville city news